Alright, and welcome back to the stream on Duke of the Bump. For those of you watching on YouTube, I just played Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, so check that out. Uh, shout out to Just Drop, who is watching the stream on the Twitch app, and thus is not able to join the chat room, but he sent me a message on Steam, and I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Alright, sync up the chat room. Done. Alright. Uh, see you later, Nixil Umbreon. Okay, uh, so I've been playing this a little bit on my own time lately. Um, let's see, let's, let's take a look at my stats. See what I still have to do in this game. 84 out of 97 secrets. So, pretty close. 367 deaths. For some reason, when I go view found secrets, like only the last or only the first 40 or so actually show up. It doesn't doesn't show me all the secrets I've gotten. But I've been working my way through the challenges. Um, I previously tried to do the Lord of the Flies challenge on stream and wasn't able to do that, but I've done that. Uh, the Doctor's Revenge was actually a really fun challenge. It starts you out with the fetus and uh, the Doctor's remote which gives you bombs in place of tears and the ability to summon a uh, summon a big bomb from the heavens with the remote. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I wish I was doing that one on stream. Uh, Agent Rainer 96, what's going on? So yeah, I've been uh, I've been going down the list here. I have Isaac was good today, which is uh, it's another fun one. It starts you out with a halo and actually I think I'm gonna, I'm going to go on ahead and try this. I've given it a couple uh, couple attempts and it starts you with the halo and um, fate I think the item is which gives you a, uh, a health up and the wings which is why I have five hearts and uh, you fly right for the beginning of the game of course the downside is the downside to all of these challenges is you don't get item rooms so all you get are your starting items for whatever the challenge is and whatever you get from boss rooms, um, secret secret rooms, item shops, etc. And in the final challenge, the purest, you don't start with anything. And in all the challenges up to this point, um, oh, I should probably change the uh, thing on Twitch, shouldn't I? Uh, up to this point. All of the uh, all of the challenges have been uh, just kill. Well, the the, f the first few were just kill mom was the goal, and then a few after that were to kill mom's heart, or it lives in my case. And uh, in the current challenge, the goal is to kill Satan. So you have to go through Sheol. I don't know why I pronounce it like that. You have to kill Satan, and then in the last challenge, the purest, you have to go all the way and. Uh, defeat uh, Isaac, the boss of the cathedral. So yeah, they get uh, progressively tougher. Alright, updated. Sweet, okay. Oh wait, I should probably... Is that muted? Yeah, okay. I didn't want to get the echo in myself. So yeah, um, I, I've only attempted this one, actually I think I just did it once, and I made it to Sheol, but I wasn't able to beat Satan. I, I actually forgot that I had to go all the way to Sheol. I thought I just had to kill Mom's Heart in that one too, so I used all my bombs, and I didn't have them uh, to help me out during Sheol. A live stream and a live stream. Yes, yes, it's very Shakespearean. I think I made that joke before too. So, with no item rooms, your incentive to explore the entire dungeon isn't really there. Um, I mean, I can look around for like the secret room and whatnot, but it's not like I have to explore all of every level. Hmm. Well, that pickaxe would be... well, actually it wouldn't be useful at all since I can fly. So I'm just going to buy the soul heart. 
And I, I might buy that bomb. It depends on if this is... Let's see if this is the secret room. I have a good feeling about this wall. Excellent. Alright, so no need to buy that other bomb. Just yet. Well, I can buy the pickaxe, but it doesn't really help. Well, the one thing the pickaxe would be helpful for is uh, if you come across a tinted, a tinted rock and you don't have any bombs. But I think I'd rather save my money, actually. Pickaxe is garbage. Well, I mean, it's useful if you don't have anything else. But since I'm flying, that negates most of the use of it. And the tarot card I have is the sun, which both uh, shows the whole map for the level and uh, and it fills up your health and it does damage to everything on the screen. It's a pretty nice card, but I don't really need it against the Duke of Flies. So I was looking into that game, The Cave, the new Double Fun game, and it looks like it would be a cool game to stream uh, co-op, since it has up to three player co-op. But unfortunately, I think even in the PC version, it's only local co-op, like there's no online, which is kind of unfortunate. That would be a good stream game, kind of a multiplayer puzzle platformer sort of thing. It hasn't been getting the best reviews. Apparently there's a lot of backtracking, but it looks like it might be go worth going through. Hmm. Well, I fire. Well, I guess I don't really have to work. Ah, oh, damn it. Shit! I forgot you can't just fly through the chest. Okay. People who whine about backtracking are babies. Well, I mean, a certain amount of backtracking is fine, like, uh, in a Metroid game, but I can see, uh, where it can be to the extent where it would be annoying to deal with. Especially since, apparently, to, uh, get the true ending of the game, you have to beat it, go through the whole thing multiple times to beat it with all seven characters and you end up seeing a lot of the same stuff over and over again which is kind of a bummer but it looks like it might still be fun I wouldn't listen to reviewers a lot well there's there is no one reviewer that I trust a hundred percent but I do try to read uh, you know, read through multiple reviews from different sources and try to get an idea of... because usually you can, uh... usually you can get an, uh, get an idea of what a game's like that way. But I watched a quick look on Giant Bomb and it looked pretty fun. But again, like I said, no online multiplayer, which kind of defeats the purpose of it. Most people who review things will give a bad grade just because it's not an, an FPS. I don't know if that's true. I mean, certainly there are people like that, but I wouldn't say most reviewers do that. I mean, Giant Bomb is generally pretty trustworthy. Um, Destructoid is one that, uh, uh, with, with the exception of a couple of reviewers, but it's usually a pretty good source of information. Uh, Polygon's not bad. It has a lot of good people on there. And they all kind of came to the same conclusion about the game, so... I'd say, uh, it's pretty accurate. But again, you know, that kind of stuff doesn't bother me as much as it might bother some people. So it might be worth going through. You can never, tr you can never trust IGN. Yeah, IGN, uh... Ooh, cool. IGN is not one of the sites that I uh, regularly check for reviews. Pretty much those three. Giant Bomb, Destructoid, and uh, Polygon. And you know, I'll glance at the Metacrit Metacritic just to see, uh, see what the majority of people are saying. 
I mean, on Metacritic, it got reviews from, like, I think the highest was 90-something and the lowest was, like, 40-something. So, yeah, reviews should be taken with a grain of salt. But look at a lot of them, and uh, you can generally get an idea of what's going on. Let's go check out the shop. Hmm, well, I don't have a space item right now, but I'm still going to pick up the habit just in case I get the, uh, I'll buy the bomb too, why not? Just in case, well, just in case I get a space bar item, but specifically just in case I get the Book of Revelation. Because those two items together, uh, it's worth buying the habit just on the off chance I get the book later. Because the habit, for anyone not familiar with it, uh, recharges whatever your spacebar item is every time you get hit. And combined with the Book of Revelation, which spawns a soul heart, it basically makes you unkillable until you get to the womb. Where, uh, where hits do a full heart of damage instead of just a half a heart. <sighs> Cat of nine tails. Ugh. Alright, well, I have a couple bombs. Oh, crap! There's a devil room there, and I totally missed it. Oh, well. I have plenty of hearts. Might actually be worth, uh, worth giving it, giving it a look. Alright. Well, I have nine coins, so I guess I might as well... Well, nah. On second thought, I'll, I'll save them. I don't really need it any anything that badly right now. I always want to go to the gambling room. Uh, welcome Dinostra, what's up? The game's been good to you so far. Yeah, it's been okay. I don't know that Cat of Nine Tails is necessarily the item I would have gotten. Um, what's going on Dinostra? Um, I think I've said hi to everyone who chatted so far. If you want to shout out, just say hi in the chat room. If not, that's cool. If you just wanna take a look, I don't judge. So yeah, once I beat this, all I, all I have left is the purist. And the purist challenge, you start with no items, and you have to go all the way to the cathedral and kill Isaac, which is going to be very difficult, um, but not impossible. I'm just going to have to get extremely lucky with the boss items, with the secret rooms, and uh, and uh, challenge rooms and stuff. You can get items from those as well. I'm just going to, I'm going to have to get very lucky with all that stuff. And then once I do that, all I have to do is beat the chest with every character. Hopefully you get Book of Revelations Nail Miter. Well, I've never gotten the nail yet, so I'm not uh, I'm not banking on it. Haha, ha, I can fly and you can. Wait, isn't the nail a spacebar item? You can't have that and the Book of Revelation, can you? Maybe I'm thinking of the razor bullet. No, I'm pretty sure the nail is a spacebar item. Oh, that's why you put a slash. Okay, I get it. I don't remember what the nail does, but I, I do. Re I do remember it wasn't that good. It's not something I'm very anxious to get again. Doesn't that like just increase your damage for the room you're in or something? And give you the ability to to break rocks by walking into them. What are some of your future ideas for streams? Well I don't really look that far ahead. Mostly I just uh 
I mean, obviously, my, str my streaming capacities are limited since my computer isn't that good. Which means I mostly have to stick to, uh, you know, low, uh, low intensity games. Which is good for checking out, you know, indie games and stuff like that. Bombs are key. Wow, 98 bombs. That's pretty good. I'm glad I got that. Because 98 bombs is much more useful in this playthrough than 98 keys. Uh, I'm going to look around for a little bit and uh, see if I can find the item shop. Since I do have a pretty good amount of money at the moment. And now that I have all these bombs, I might start bombing around indiscriminately looking for the secret room. Well, not indiscriminately, but, but less discriminately. I'm not going to look for both secret rooms. Just because, uh... Well, the, the second kind of secret room you can get is good, but you never actually get an item from it. At least not in my experience. So it's not really worth, uh, I mean, you get like, you might get a trinket from it, but in the actual secret room, you can get a, uh, you know, I can get a one-up mushroom or all kinds of stuff. I can't think of any other specific, specific examples, but I've gotten cool items from, from the secret room before. They can give you angel room items? Well, that hasn't happened to me yet, so I'm not, uh, not really going to count on it. So I have seen a couple new names in the chat room, so to anyone checking me out for the first time, welcome. Thank you for coming to my stream. My name is Duke the Bump. All of my streams go up on YouTube after, uh, of course, go up on YouTube after I'm done playing. And uh, the link to that YouTube is in the info for my Twitch channel. And you can follow me at Duke the Bump or at uh, Duke LPs on Twitter for updates or Facebook.com slash Duke the Bump. You get updates that way. And I hope you have fun. And you should also follow me at my normal Twitter, which is just Duke of the Bump. Because I post some hilarious jokes. Kind of a waste to use my sun card there, but I really hate Super Greed. I wanted that fight over with as soon as possible. All right, well, plenty of money to spend on gambling now. Good lord. All right, see you later, Hyenator. <laughs> that rhymed. Go hoof, increase the speed. Good trinket to have. Did I ever finish dungeon hack? I don't think I've ever finished dungeon hack in my life. Well, I've beaten it on like the super easy settings, but nothing, uh, nothing I'd actually want to stream. The spike room can give you angel room items too. I've never gotten anything from the spike room. Every time I... Like sometimes uh, I'll have a challenge room. And I'll want to get rid of all my hearts. So I can do the challenge room. So I'll say okay I'll try the spike room. And I will hit myself on the spikes numerous times. And I, I have never gotten anything. Well I think very early on I got like some crap like some bombs or some keys or something. I've never gotten anything good from the spike room. So I'm not going to bother with it. Only the spike room with the spikes on the door is worthwhile. I hardly ever get anything from those either. But I, I have gotten good stuff on occasion. Uh, Rygog, welcome to the chat room. Lucky Toe. I forget exactly what it does. It just increases your luck to some extent. Oh, this is one of the new items I've unlocked by uh, by doing challenges. The fish head. I 
forget what it does. S something involving flies. If anyone in the chat room knows, I appreciate it. I, I looked it up on the wiki, but I don't uh, remember exactly. Duke should stream net hack. Well, I've thought about it, but it doesn't seem like it'd be a very entertaining stream for the masses. You kind of have to know. I don't know. I don't know. It might be good. Spawns flies when damaged. Um. Yeah, I'll hold on to the co-hoof. Alright, I could go over and do that challenge room and stuff, but I'm not going to bother with it. I've unlocked- I've, uh, located the boss, so I'm just going to go straight there. I could just use my Emperor card, but I'm not feeling that lazy today. Oh yeah, I haven't gone to the, se to the secret room here yet. So I will go on ahead and do that. Thank you, Pokespot. Well, might be worth worth going to the the uh, casino room now. But that's all the way on the other side of the map. Uh, all right, here it goes. I'm actually getting some slowdown. I don't know why I'm getting slowdown all of a sudden. I usually don't have an issue with it. But it happened in Super Amazing Wagon Adventure and it's happening here. I guess this room does kind of have a lot going on. Damn it. I've never beaten that hack either, by the way. It's another reason I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to stream it. I mean, I'm pretty good at it, but I'm not nearly good enough. Obviously, since I've never beaten it. There are no item rooms on challenge runs. Yes, that is correct. No item rooms, which is why I'm just going straight to the boss. Uh, what's up, Aegis Dragon? Glad you can make it. So yeah, that's why uh, that's why I'm just not bothering with the rest of the map. The Fallen. I wonder which boss room it teleports you to if you use the Emperor card on an on uh, an XL level. I wonder if it takes you to the first boss room or the second. This might actually be worth using if it takes you to the second one. Somehow I kind of doubt it though. I mean, it's worth using, like, on the loom, or during a challenge run, when there are no item rooms. But in general, it's not really that useful. Damn it. Not fast enough. I was about to spew, and I was about to get hit by it. Did all of you see uh, the stream of Tim Schafer shaving his beard earlier today? That was pretty fun. Yeah, Duke has awesome commentary. Oh, thank you. Duke, what end boss did you get in Dungeon Attack? Man, I don't even remember. The one time I beat it, it was it was years ago. 
The hack wouldn't necessarily be fun to watch, but your commentary would be interesting. Oh, well, thank you. You guys are very nice. Was it a blue dragon or something else? I couldn't tell you. Even my old dungeon hack videos. I haven't actually beaten the game since the, since I did those. Aw, oh, man. Forget that. Oh, no. Well, this playthrough might be ending here, guys. It might be, uh... Might be coming to a premature end. Depends on how much of a dick the bloats want to be. I I've actually never gotten this version of the bloat, either. Oh, God. I used my Emperor card because I didn't want to fight the, uh fight the maggot gluttony things. But this is much worse. Man, he just, he just doesn't telegraph that the spewing thing at all. Just one second he's just standing there, the next second... Barf! You just gotta get lucky with that stuff. You just gotta not stand, uh, stand next to him. Or you can't stand parallel to him. Which is very difficult because you can only fire in parallel lines. At least I don't have to worry about the blood on the floor. I do have to worry about blood on the dance floor, though. Because that band is an abomination. Everyone should be worried about them. I can stand above the blow. And not have to worry about it, I think. I don't think he spews in an upwardly direction. Duke bombs. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. I probably would have just ended up killing myself with them anyway. Alright, let's try that again. First time I've gotten the bloat in forever. the blows harder than Satan. Yeah, yeah, I would probably agree with you there. Well, the thing about Satan is I fought him numerous times, so I kind of have all of his patterns down. And with the blow, I've only fought it a couple times. So I'm not really <clears throat> I'm not really as acclimated to him. Well, let's see, no keys, unfortunately. I might do the uh, the Doctor's Revenge run on stream, even though I've already done it. It's just fun. Oh, oh, look at that. Pretty typical pain room. But I have found the secret. Aw, oh, man. I've only beaten him when I did the Dr. Fetus Challenge. Yeah, having uh, an unlimited supply of bombs would definitely help. Alright, oh, well, I guess I'm done. Except for the boss. 
today, actually. Oh, c c congratulations. I did the uh, Dr. Fetus challenge the other day. Good old Monstra. The Glass Joe of the Binding of Isaac. That was that dude's name, right? In uh, Punch Out. I've never been close to Killian before, so it helped out very, very much. I think I've beaten the bloat, but I never have much health left afterwards. Have I heard the Dr. Fetus song on YouTube? No, but I bet it's hilarious. the heart in case I get hit again. Now let's see, I have one key but only three coins. So I think I'll save it. It's called Dr. Fetus and Documentary. Well, I'll have to check that out. So I was complaining before that my uh, controller was no longer doing the trick. So uh, what I did was I ordered a USB adapter for a Sega Genesis controller and I'm going to use it with my uh, Genesis 6 button controller which has, oops, probably should have saved that as well. Oh well. The Genesis 6 button controller has one of my favorite d-pads. It's floaty but at the same time uh, it's more responsive than like the 360 controller. And uh, that arrived today, but I haven't really tried it out. I, I mean, I tried it out with a uh, an NES simulator, and it seemed to work fine. So yeah, there might be some uh, some Genesis streaming in the future, so I can use it in its natural habitat. This looks like a pretty good spot for a secret room. Oh, guess not. Oh well. There's a heart there, so I'm going to go ahead and do the pain room. Wow. That's uh, one of the better items I've gotten from the pain room. Nice. Aw. Just some coins. Well, it might be worth going in the item shop now. Oh man, seven more coins and I can get the map. The map's extremely useful, especially once you get to the womb. Well, the map by itself isn't that useful, but the map plus the compass, oh man. You can just go straight to the boss room, not have to worry about anything else in the level. It's pretty good. And the map by itself shows you where the uh, where the secret rooms are. Oops. So it's it's pretty useful by itself too. All right, I'm gonna save this slot machine and see if the boss gives me money. And if not, I'll go ahead and use this. Everything is useful in this game. Well, I don't know about that. There there are a few, a few items that are distinctly unuseful. Kamikaze, the lemon mishap, the poop. I mean, all of the items are better than nothing, but some of them just barely.
I mean, the poop is practically not better than nothing. Wiggle worm is pretty pointless. Uh, it's okay. Well, let's see. I can either spend money or I can bomb it and try to get more money. Well, actually, I'm out of bombs. So, I guess I'll just do this. Or I can go buy that pill. I think I'll do that. I'll save five and go get the pill and see what that does. Of course, getting the pill is not nearly as nice when you have to be Isaac instead of Kane. Ooh, tears up. That was definitely worth it. Welcome back, Nixil Umbreon. Glad you can make it. Do kind of regret not being able to get the map, but there's nothing I can do. If only the secret room had more than three coins in it. Say la vie. I can't believe I blew that last playthrough with all those bombs I had. I really should have been bombing the bloat. It might not have survived, but it would have given me better odds. I don't usually think to use my bombs on the bosses, unless it's uh, Satan or, uh, or Mom's Heart. Ooh, library. Uh... I'll go with the Book of Belial. It's pretty good. The Book of Belial uh, increases your damage for the room that you're in. The item's called My Reflection. It's actually bad. It cripples you. Yeah, I don't like the reflection thing. I mean, I see what they were going for, but it's, it is more of a hindrance than a help. What exactly does my reflection do? It makes your shots, uh, basically they curve back towards you. So if you miss an enemy, it has a chance of hitting it again on the way back. But it also greatly reduces your, your range as well. So not really worth it, at least in my opinion. I think recharges in three rooms. But I could be wrong. I, I usually just don't use it unless I'm in a particularly bad room or if I'm fighting a boss. Gives Isaac tears a boomerang effect. Yeah, basically. Oh man, Book of Revelations. Gotta save my money. At least try to get it. Probably not gonna get 10 more coins before the end of the level. If not, I will buy that pill. Well, I'm too closer. It sets, your, it, sets it at medium range, yeah. So yeah, cripples your range, gives you a slight cool effect. Uh, 
That's not even really that cool. Sometimes I use bombs on Gertie too. This is just the plain old boring default Gertie. So, not too many surprises here. Ow. And no money. Not that I'm complaining about more health. But I would have really liked to get that book. I have one bomb to look for a secret room. And I'm going to look for it here. Excellent. Ooh, aw. Oh. <laughs> I forgot I already have that effect. So it doesn't do me any good. One of the few secret rooms where I, I actually would have preferred a bunch of coins. Oh well. <sighs> if only it was on sale, it would be mine. Bombs are key. Ah. Doesn't do me much good when I only have one of either of them. No keys because it was turned into a bomb. So yeah, other than this, I've been playing uh, Borderlands 2 recently. I forget if I mentioned that on the stream or not. Oh man, there's another library but no keys. But yeah, Borderlands 2 is pretty rad. I played through the first Borderlands on the Xbox and it was okay since I was playing uh, co-op. And Borderlands 2, I'm just going solo. But uh, I've been enjoying it a lot more than Borderlands 1. Part of it, of course, is because I'm playing on the PC and I can actually use mouse and keyboard proper first-person shooter controls. But uh, just in general, the writing is way better. It's written by uh, Anthony Birch, who does the show Hey Ash, What You Playing? Actually, if you're not following the uh, the Hey Ash Twitch, they do a lot of cool stuff on there. There's a bunch of cool people who uh, who stream, so yeah, you should follow that. I forget what it is. I think it's just Hey Ash. You have Xbox. I do have an Xbox. I don't use it that much. I'm primarily a PC gamer. Man, I need like three keys. There's a chest, there's a library, there's an item shop. Aww. And of course it teleports me somewhere that I don't need a key for. I was hoping it would teleport me into the, the library or something. Whoa, where the hell am I? This place is bigger than I thought. You were going to add me. You can still add me. My name's Duke of the Bump. But don't expect me to, to log in anytime soon. I don't know. I might use it more if I actually had a video capture device. Because it would be a cool way to stream some stuff. But those things are expensive. I am getting my, uh, my tax refund pretty soon, though. So I might look into, uh, 
looking at getting some equipment with that. Man, do I want to try to get a key or do I, do I want to save my coins? Yeah, let's save this as a last resort. I don't know, in general, anything on the Xbox, I would rather play on PC if it's available there. So I, I just don't have a ton of reasons to use the Xbox. Now there are games that aren't released on PC, and it's useful for those. It seems like more and more, all any game I would be interested in playing on the Xbox is getting a PC release. Oh wow. Item room, library, or chest? The library might have a, a book of revelation. That's really the only useful thing that would be in there. The shop, I actually have 15 coins, so that would be useful. It might be greed though. It's really a gamble any way I go. Oh man. Do I want to buy the steam sale, which would help later? Or do I want to buy the key and try the, the library? Let's go for the library. Nope. Just a stupid anarchist cookbook and... Ooh! Got a key from that thing. I guess I can't complain too much. Let's go ahead and open this chest. That was not terribly useful. Oh well, at least I have another key for future locked door endeavors. <sighs> Stupid Globins, why are you so boring? The only thing they could do to you is bore you to death. Now these things, these things pack a punch. You just gotta stay clear of them. Alright, well, I have three bombs with, with, with which to look for secrets. So, uh, let's see what happens. One more coin, and, and I can buy the steam sale. Steam messages. Yeah, someone was saying something. I wasn't paying attention, though. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's just a blood machine. Okay. I think I'd rather use my coins here. Well, I, I couldn't afford the steam sale anyway, so. If, if this thing starts spewing out hearts, then uh, I, I might be able to give the blood machine a, a couple tries. Ooh, pretty fly. Pills, eh? I think I'll save that for the next floor. More telepills. Now 
Alright. Get that blood machine a couple worlds and get the hell out of here. Well, no blood bag. But I have more coins to pump into the machine now. Does anyone know if they've changed the drop rate for the dollar? Well, I don't know. I do know that uh, I got it three times in one game fairly recently. That's pretty nuts. Now see, if I had the Book of Revelation, I could just start abusing that thing. <laughs> Another heart. Okay. One more spin. Good. Welcome back, post spot. Uh, let's go ahead and use this so that way I can bomb this thing and bomb the blood machine. Coins equal damage item along with it. Uh, I haven't gotten that. Well, I've gotten the, I've gotten the uh, the coins equals damage thing when when I had like fifty, and uh, it was pretty awesome. There, I th I'm pretty sure there is a uh, a max cap though. It, it doesn't increase your damage beyond the the five maximum, just for your nor your normal stats. And my uh, my attack stat was maxed out at that point. That doesn't mean it's not helpful. Oh yeah, it's it's super helpful if you have a lot of money. The wretched. I don't like this thing. like an extra annoying version of Widow. Money and nothing to spend it on. Have I played EG? Nope, I've heard of it, and I heard it was pretty cool, but I've never tried it. Have I tried really Joel's dad mode? Uh, no, because I don't know what that means. Nope, oh, nothing cool. From the telepills. And I've only gotten the I am error room like twice. In the entire time I've been playing this game. I am error is rare as hell, yeah. Unfortunately.
apparently when people actually speedrun this game, the usual strategy is to, is to just restart over and over again until you get the epic fetus and then use that as the basis of your speedrun. The epic fetus is the item you get from doing uh, the Doctor's Revenge. It, uh, I don't know how it works. I've never seen video of it or anything. But, uh, the regular fetus turns all of your tears into bombs. And the mega fetus turns your tears into uh, the bombs that the Doctor's Remote drops. Which are like huge bombs with a giant blast radius. Yeah, it's permanent permanent doctor's remote that you that you can use over and over again. So uh, I'm not, I mean I'm not sure exactly how it works. I guess uh, I guess if you pick it up, you just want to always use the mouse because it's it's easier to aim that way. But it seems like if I had it, I would just constantly be killing myself with it, scrambling to try to stay away from the en enemies. And walking into my own damn uh, bomb. Let's uh, pull on my coins for the item room before I put any in, or the uh, the item shop before I put any into that machine. I just use arrows, you get used to controlling it. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I haven't unlocked, so ho oh, so hopefully uh, I'll see it one of these days. Probably not in any of these playthroughs, since I don't have any item rooms. I might just do a normal uh, chest attempt after this. Depends on how much longer this lasts. these things. I cannot stand this enemy. Oh lord. Alright, see you later, Dinoster. Two of spades. Either doubles your bonds or your, or your keys. I can't remember which. I don't have many of either at the moment, so... Not tremendously useful. I think spades is bombs and uh, clubs is keys. Eh, uh, let's try it out. I think since I have zero bombs, it'll just give me two. Oh no, I have spades is keys. Okay. I always forget. Really? More? Oh, you're killing the game. Is there a, a two of hearts? Yeah, it just doubles however many hearts you have. Predictably. There's also a two of diamonds, which doubles your money. <sighs> Still no book of revelation. Damn. Monster Manual is pretty good. It spawns a random familiar. But I still think the Book of Belial is better. Or Belial. Or B Belial. Or however you're supposed to say it. Oh god. This game's trying to make me sad. And it's working. Terribly depressed. 
All right, item shop. Uh, uh, uh. Portable slot machine. Oh, I don't have any bombs, so I guess I'll buy that one. Uh. I hold on to the emperor if I don't get anything better. I want to come back. I'm just going back for a heart so I can do the challenge room. Still useful. It's like a portable heal. Well, not really. Since the odds of it spitting out a heart are one and I don't know. They're pretty low. Oops, wrong way. I was talking about, oh yeah, the two of hearts is useful. I like it. <sighs> Screw it. Oh, hi, monster too. I killed your predecessor. What do you think of that? Monster 2 is not bad. He gives me a little bit of trouble. But for a late stage boss, he's probably one of the best ones you can get. Besides, like, Skull X. Or Pin. Is Pin a late stage boss? I think he is sometimes. Wow, I seem to have him in an infinite loop here. Oh, nope. I said something, so therefore he had to break it. Cat of Nine Tails, really? Really, game? Does the Two of Hearts also double Soul Hearts? Nope. Unfortunately. Alright, there's one more item shop for the womb, so I'm just going to hold on to my coins instead of gambling them. Blast Assist isn't too hard. Yeah, Blast Assist is pretty good. Alright, I'm leaving. Is there an ace of any suit? There's an ace of spades, which basically increases the drop rate. It's a trinket that increases the drop rate of uh, of the twos and the joker. That's not bad. Pretty good chest item. Speaking of Ace of Spades, did anyone see that video of the robot band playing Ace of Spades by uh, Motorhead? It's pretty awesome. There are no vocals or anything, which is good because I hate the vocals in that song. But uh, there was e there were these robots programmed to play the guitar, the bass, and the drums, and uh, they were rocking. It's an awesome video. Look up uh, Ace of Spades Robot. I think it's on, uh, it's on like Vimeo or Blip or something like that. So just Google it. The robots look look really cool too. They look like, uh, you know, heavy heavy metal appropriate robots. Uh, sure. Ooh, or uh, pill pouch. I can buy both of these. Oh, why not? Puberty. Bombs are key. Telepills. And unknown. Health down. Aw, oh, man. You just had to screw me. Oh, the Ace of Spades increases the drop rate of tarot cards as well. According to Kostya.
Uh, I guess I could use the tele telepills and see where I end up. Ooh. That's one, that's one of the good things you, you can get from the, uh, the extra secret room. Yes, the top secret room, as Pokesmot calls it. You can tell which is which because, uh, the little question mark on the map is gray instead of white. And also, just the general layout of the room. The top secret rooms. Uh, they can look like the cathedral or they can look like the womb. And I think they can look like, uh, Sheol as well. Or the double room. The uh, white heart is an eternal heart. If I finish the, uh, if I finish the level and I still have it, it gives me a permanent heart. Or if I find another one. It also turns into a permanent heart. Of course, if I get hit, I'll immediately lose it since I don't have any soul hearts. Which kind of sucks. I'm not banking on, uh, on holding on to it. Which I guess is pessimistic of me, but I'm just trying to be realistic. I have four bombs, so I'll probably start hunting around for the secret room here pretty soon. Oh, chub. You're so chubby. Wow, nothing for that room? You uh, really shouldn't use the word Jewish in that way, Postmod. It's pretty insensitive. I would consider that an ethnic slur, which would be against the rules of the chat room. I mean, I know you're not trying to be insensitive, but, uh, you know, someone who's actually Jewish might take offense to that. Oh, there goes the eternal heart. Oh well. It was nice while it lasted. But yeah, the game is being really stingy with damage upgrades. We're just going to make it, uh... Make it difficult if I actually do make it to shield. I should probably hold on to my bombs just in case I do get to shield. Seems like it always is when I watch you stream. Yeah, actually, my damage tends to always suck by the end of the game. I don't know what it is with me. Ooh, don't have to waste a bomb getting that tender rock. Uh... This looks like a good location for a secret. Nope. My intuition failed me. I think since Wrath of the Lamb damage drops are a lot more rare. Yeah, I don't know. I know I haven't gotten the small rock from, uh, from a tinted rock in a while. That's one of the most frequent damage upgrades you tend to get. I haven't gotten one in an Asian and a half.
Oh man, if I just held on to my eternal heart a little while longer. Actually, I want to save that. Always wait till you clear the floor to pick up the white hearts. Yeah, I probably should. If I was smart, that's what I would do. Double damn. <laughs> All right, well, let's go uh, play with the one armed bandit. I might as well use the last of my coins here since I'll have even fewer opportunities to use them in the womb. Oh man, of all the pills it could have given me, it gives me bad gas. I usually just throw away bad gas Im immediately, since it seems like whenever I try to actually use it, I end up taking damage because I'm paying I'm paying attention to trying to use bad gas instead of dodging. But this time around, I think I'm actually going to try to use it on Mom. I should be able to get some poison damage in on her. I want to hold on to my bombs instead of blowing that thing up. They'll be helpful. If I make it to Sheol, I guess I could keep looking for the secret, but I'd rather hold on to them. Alright, let's see if I can actually do this without getting hit. Oh man, it's this one. It's a super fast version of mom. Oh fuck. Oh, here goes my eternal heart. Oh well. I mean, if I had left it there, I wouldn't have been, been able to go after it anyway. Since you can't get out of the mom room once you beat her. Now, if she keeps this up, I'll be happy with this version of mom. The trade off is that this one doesn't spawn enemies. It just stomps you and tries to shoot you and slap you. Now see, I could try to get really close to her and deal damage with the Guardian Angel as well. Well, that could have gone worse. I'll pick up the Polaroid just because, hey, I don't have a trinket. Excuse me. Thank you to those of you saying bless you. Or the dopal 
as is known in the game. Or King Doppelpopolis, as I like to call him. Hmm. Damn it. Oh wow, a coin. Thank you, game. That's so amazing. Alright, see you later, Kostya. Thanks for making it. I think I'll take cover inside this little structure here. Of course, they can just float their way inside, so it's not very good cover. I'm glad they're staying on that side of the screen instead of popping over here where I am. I wish I had spectral tears. That would be the bee's knees. I haven't really gotten any devil rooms this game. Except for that first one that I missed. Oh god. If I did get a, a devil room. I might actually trade some parts for something. That's the one good thing about this challenge. You always have plenty of hearts to trade for items in the devil room. Man, if I could have gotten brimstone or something, that would have been awesome. Meh, I say to you. And of course, all three of the directions that I tried off the bat are the wrong direction. Just my luck. Ah, oh, damn it. Play that one a little too close to the edge. God, this enemy is so boring. Stupid Globins. Or Globetrotters, as I like to call them. It's the Hemo Globetrotters. Get it? It's like Hemoglobin. But it's the Harlem Globetrotters. I'm still workshopping that joke, but I think it's got a pretty good foundation. I think I, I can really turn that into a pretty good goof. Oh, hey, what's up, Oblivix? Haven't seen you around in a while. Glad you can make it. A lot of familiar faces. Let's see, down or right? Well, whichever one I choose is going to be wrong, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Murphy's Law is in full effect whenever I play this game. 
I just can't pick the right direction. I could cheese and just leave the room, but I should be okay. I was expecting Oregon Trail. Well, uh, Super Amazing Wagon Adventure is, uh, you know, it's an homage to Oregon Trail. But yeah, you missed that one. But that will be going up on YouTube pretty soon. Probably right after the stream. It's a good game. I recommend it. It's not the kind of game I would play on stream a ton. Because it's kind of like Binding of Isaac where everything's random. And, uh, you know, it's just attempted playthrough after attempted playthrough. And Binding of Isaac is kind of my go-to game for that. I need another lemonade. I will be right back. Alright, hydration powers activate. I need to torrent Oregon Trail. Oh, it's free. You can just play it online in your browser. You don't need to torrent it. I'm assuming you're talking about the one that I streamed. But yeah, just go to Oregon Trail to... Well, might be OregonTrail.com. Just Google it. Yeah, it's 100% free. Oops. Super Amazing Wagon Adventures. It's a couple bucks. It's like two or three dollars. It's worth your money, I'd say. Sleep powers activate. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I boring you, Nixon? Bloody penny. Makes hearts pop up. Have a chance of popping up when you pick up money. No, I'm tired. I'm sorry. I, ha I have had people say that my streams are good to fall asleep to. Or my videos are good to fall asleep to. And I'm not really sure how to take that. I mean, I guess I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. You're getting some benefit from the stream or the videos. But I don't know. It's a little bit of a backhanded compliment, I think. Maybe not intentionally. I mean, you wouldn't tell Bruce Willis, Hey man, I love Die Hard. The movie is so good to fall asleep to. Put it on and I just doze right off. I mean, not that I'm comparing myself with Bruce Willis, but, you know. I'm kind of like Bruce Willis. I fell asleep to your Miami video the other night. Thank you. Oh, look at that. I chose the wrong direction again. What are the odds? 
Oblivix is wide awake. I, I don't care if you guys are tired. I'm a member of the internet, so I know not to take anything anyone says personally. Because there are people out there who will say anything just to try to get a rise out of you. I just watched Die Hard again on Thursday. I've actually never seen it. It's one of those movies I've been meaning to watch. Because it's like the seminal 80s action movie. I think it's on Netflix. That's my problem. I pretty much won't watch something if it's not on Netflix. If there's anything else, it's just too much trouble to go through. I mean, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I have a billion other things I could be doing, so... I'm more likely to, uh play a video game or something then uh, figure out an alternate method of obta obtaining Die Hard. Alright, see you later, Nixel. Thanks for coming. The person is going to stream each one up to the new one. What? Man, this is only the one one too. I still have another one of these to do. <sighs> oh well, at least it was the womb and not utero. Damn it. Although now that I said that, I'm sure the next one is going to be utero. You know, Murphy's Law and all. Please don't be bad. Death. I guess it could be worse. Although I hate death. And I don't just mean the biological concept. Actually, uh, I'm reading the book uh, Hogfather by Terry Pratchett right now. And death is the central character of the whole thing. In Discworld, death is awesome. He's one of my favorite characters. He's very likable. <sighs> wow. I actually killed the scythe before I kill death? I don't think that's ever happened before. Wow, I took a ton of damage in this fight. It sucks, man. I'm starting to not have a lot of faith in my odds. to human meat. Great. Well, I have seven bombs, but I really should save them for Sheol. Shale. However, oh man, the curse of darkness. Really, game? Okay, you can stop summoning flies anytime you want. I'd be fine with it. This game's so unrealistic. Loki doesn't look anything like he did in the Avengers movie. He doesn't look like a scrawny, depressing looking emo dude. Empress, huh? That's pretty good. 
is not the cathedral in this one. Well, in the in this challenge, the goal is uh, Sheol. Your goal is to kill Satan. In the last challenge, the purest, your goal is to go to the cathedral and kill Isaac. Oh crap, I forgot I had the bloody penny. Yeah, for anyone just tuning in, this is a, ch a challenge. This is, uh, Isaac was good today. Challenge number, uh, nine. Or, uh, eight, rather. Well, I forget, is ten, is the purest ten or nine? It's the next to the last challenge. Why do we still use all this outdated terminology? Like anyone actually had a dial that they had to tune to get to the stream. We're on air. There's no air involved. Well, I guess there's air involved if you're on a phone and you're, uh, you're getting your internet connection over the air. But I'm on land. I connect to my internet through rabbit ears. Wow. You must have an awesome connection speed with that. Or it's like how any program with the save icon, the icon is always a little uh, three and a half inch floppy disk. It's like no nobody born after... I mean, nobody under the age of like... 25 or so, I just want to know what that is. Well, maybe a little younger than that. Nobody under 20 or so is not going to know what the floppy disk is. Especially kids born more recently than that. They're like, why do I have to click on this little square thing when I want to save my file? What the heck? Of course, I don't know what they could change it to. The USB thumb drive, maybe? That'd be a little... A little inelegant. Kids born today probably won't know what CDs are in 15 years. Yeah, at least with CDs, I mean, we'll still have some kind of optical media. So they'll have a point of reference for it anyway. Wow. All those coins they collected, and I didn't get a single heart from it. Aw, oh, man. I fucking hate these eyes. I mean, I don't know what it's going to be in 15 years. It might still be Blu-rays at that point. Or it might be whatever's next. Optical media is definitely going away, though. Eventually. I mean, I'm already pretty much done with it. I have physical DVDs, but I never watched them. Can't I just go the right direction once? Just this one time. I think it depends how important things are to you. No matter what, I'll always want physical copies of games. Oh, those are going away pretty soon too. Alright, I have a pretty good number of bombs right now, so I'm going to have to blow this thing up. I mean, I love the convenience of Steam, and I love not having games cluttering up my, uh, my living room. But, I mean, it does kind of bother me that, uh, that I don't actually own my games. 
It's like the thing that happened with cell phones recently. There's a, a law going into effect in the U.S. where if you get a subsidized cell phone on contract, it's going to be illegal for you to unlock it so you can use it on another car carrier. Even after you fulfill your contract, it's going to be against the law for you to unlock your cell phone under the, D the DMCA. Which is fucked up. It's like you don't actually own the cell phone anymore. It's owned by the corporation you got the phone through. And uh, as much as I love Steam, digital distribution has, has the same problems. You don't actually... Jesus Christ. You don't actually own your games. Oh wow, I'm actually at the boss? Awesome. Alright, uh, I have a full uh, charge on my book. I have an Empress card, and I have four hearts. I should be able to make it out of this. Okay. Knock on wood. Aw, oh, man. I'm so busy activating items that I got hit by the freaking eye. Normally, I would pump my bombs into this fight, but since I have Sheol coming up, I have to save them. Although, even if I do defeat it, it lives. I don't know if I'll be able to make it to Satan. Oh, my damage for this fight must be obscene. Yep. Look at those stats. That is amazing. Everything's all the way up except my fire rate. And yeah, when it comes to actual items, I have almost nothing. Sucks. I'm gonna do quiet time, try to get through this. Sorry, viewers. Whenever I talk a ton, I always stop concentrating on the boss. And it's always bad for me. And I'm still doing it. Alright, quiet time now. hits and those will probably stay out. Nope. Not on that round. I've gotten pretty lucky with the bosses on this playthrough. None of them have been horrifying. Yet. Pretty sure there's nothing I have to go back for, so here we go. Oblivic sometimes bathes in a bathtub of meat sauce so I can pretend to be a meatball. 
I don't know where that came from, and I'm kind of sorry I just read it. Trying to be conservative with my bombs, but I just didn't want that that many of these things on the screen at once. Ooh. That was a lucky bomb placement. Alright, let's get the rest of these guys cleared away so I can see what's in there. Hopefully it's something good. Let's see, what would I want from a secret room right about now? One up mushroom would be pretty cool. Um, anything that gives me a lot of health, I guess. I don't know. I don't think there there is anything like that in a secret room. The hundred bomb things would be very nice. Pyromaniac or whatever. I haven't gotten that in forever. Those are sometimes found in secret rooms. Oh, fuck. I want to just go into the secret room, but if there's nothing good in there, then I'll, I'll just be screwing myself because I have to kill all these things all over again. Actually, that, that didn't work out too bad. I'm glad I had that bloody penny. Alright. I am refreshed and ready for battle. I would use a bomb on this guy, but again, I'm trying to save them. Kind of a catch-22, because if I don't use bombs, I might not even make it to the boss. In which case, saving my bombs for the boss would be pointless. Just stand close and let the guardian- yeah, yeah, I should have done that. Oh lord. Fuck! Fuck! Huh, dropped a heart, that's something I guess. Aw oh, man. I hate shale. Did I mention I hate shale? Not as much as I hate the cathedral. Actually, this is the first time I've come to shale in forever to do this challenge. I beat shale with every character and I thought that was it. I'm like, man, I'm glad I'm never gonna have to go back to that place again. I 
I don't know though. The boss of the cathedral is harder than Satan. But I think I think the cathedral I think the cathedral itself fuck, might actually be easier than Sheol. I got excited for a second, but then I remembered, oh yeah, it's the same door. Dear Lord, bombs are key. That doesn't help. I just start bombing out of rooms. Um, that's not gonna do me any good. Oh God, I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Yep. Told you I was fucked. All right. Well. Let's have some fun. I haven't had fun with the Binding of Isaac on stream in a while. I mean, it's always fun, but you know. I haven't won in a while. Let's try to win. The game screwed you with damage, yeah. They kind of suck for that. This is the uh, Doctor's Revenge Challenge. And like I said, I, I have already completed this one, but uh, I want to show it off. On stream, why not? I think I've only gotten the uh, the fetus item once on stream, and I don't remember if I actually beat the game with it or not. Huh? Well, that's cool, I guess. So yeah, like the challenge I was just attempting. No. Uh... Oh God! Wow, that was, that is a bad position to be in with this item. But yeah, like the uh, like Isaac was good today. There are no item rooms. You just have the items you start with, and anything you find in boss rooms, etc. Fetus item is the rarest item in the game. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, even off stream, I've only gotten it a couple times. The very the really nice thing about uh, the fetus though is that you're always going to get the uh, the secret rooms. Of course, these spiders are probably the most annoying enemy to try to kill with the bombs. Alright, there we go. Cancer. I don't think it actually helps me, helps me with this item. It increases your shot speed. Normally, I'd, I'd be pretty stoked to get cancer in the game. But, uh... Yeah. Oh well. No money. Well, now I have money. No key to go into the item room, though. So I am just going to hit up the boss. Pretty sure I heard Ed say that himself. Oh, that it's the rarest item in the game? Yeah, probably. All right, boss. That was the Pammy's head, which I don't think I've, I've really gotten on stream before. It's an okay item, but I usually have something better. I should have uh, not picked up that Eternal Heart until I beat the boss. Oh well, it worked out. All right, so far so good. Still no keys. I'm out of here. So 
sorry, I just had to readjust myself in my chair. Oh, hey. You like bombs, do you? You have all the bombs you can eat. Maybe... It seems like the fuse time is a little shorter. I think one of the stats corresponds to the fuse time on the bombs. But I'm not 100% sure. Seems like they're blowing up a little bit more quickly. I'm gonna use my key on this chest instead of the item shop since I only have four points. Oh man. <sighs> Wow, another gold chest, huh? They do seem to be blowing up a little bit more quickly, but it might just be my imagination. Oh, hey, bomb folk. It's like a merfolk. Instead of being half human, half fish, or half thing and half bone. I probably shouldn't say I'm going to win, because if I get cocky, it's not going to happen. Of course, in this one, all I have to do is beat Mom's heart. either of those. Alright, uh, let's poke around a bit and see if we can find the top secret room. Usually it's at the end of, like, a hallway. But, I'm gonna bomb every wall, just to be sure. I was going to make a Binding of Icy joke, but it's so bad that you'll cry. Well, I've been known to enjoy the occasional bad joke. Top secret room can only border in one room. Well, see, with the normal secret room, I thought it had to border at least two rooms. But I'm not really sure that's true or, true or not anymore, because I'm pretty sure I found it in other contexts. Man, I have all these hearts, but... Let's see, the tail... I, th I think that's the cursed one. And the head, once you spawn, attack flies. I forget what the tail does, actually. But I'm not going to bother with it. It has to border three. If that's impossible, then it has to be two. And I can swear I've seen secret rooms that were only bordering one thing, though. That oh, can't blow that key in my direction. hard to uh, get the bombs exactly where you want them sometimes. Uh, that's probably good enough. I haven't really used my remote control yet because I, I haven't really had a need to. So far I've been able to take bosses out in like two hits just with the bombs. I don't like how it kind of bounces off the wall like that if you're right up next to it. 
maybe it's because I was pushing the uh, the walker though towards the wall. Top secret rooms border one thing. Yeah, but I thought I, I got normal secret rooms that were only bordering one. I don't know. I could be smoking hallucinogenic drugs. Because that's you know, totally my MO. Yeah, it looks like it was bouncing because I was actually pushing towards the wall. You shouldn't do that. Um, I have a key. I want to go to the item shop. And if there's nothing good, I might start using the slot machine. Well, extra carrying capacity could potentially be nice. So I want to see if, uh, see if I can wrestle up some more coins. Damn it, open. Sure, why not? So yeah, this item is pretty good. These things kind of suck because you have to hit them with two bombs to actually kill them. Even after uh, they've killed, they've been killed and reformed themselves. Why aren't they stopping the bomb? Maybe they're supposed to. Maybe these things don't. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I gave up my uh, remote. The cat. I totally forgot I had the remote to begin with. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Come on. There we go. See, they're supposed to stop the bomb. You don't smoke hallucinogenic drugs, you eat them. Well, obviously you haven't had the right kind of hallucinogenic drugs. Have you ever had super heroin? Yeah, that's what I thought. Pretty hardcore. And banana peels. Oh man, those things will get you fucked up. Did you ever make that joke? Yeah, just make the joke. Come on. Do it. What he said was the joke. I don't get it. But it's so bad that you... Is it because Isaac cries? Is, is that the joke? I mean, I wouldn't say that's a bad joke, because I don't even know if that qualifies as a joke. I don't know. I'd have to consult the proper authorities. <laughs> it's a pun. See, I don't know if it is. I don't think it is a pun. See, now they're stopping it. Maybe after they die and come back to life, they don't actually stop the bombs. That was a crazy sneeze. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm not sick. I just have uh, nose problems. What am I doing? I can just go straight to the boss now. I have no reason to go. Well, actually. Well, 
I'll buy the extra trinket space. It might come in handy. Okay, I'm out of here. Not even saying bless you. Well, I mean, I'm not Catholic, so... You don't have to say bless you. Yeah, and he's not a priest either, so I don't think I don't think a blessing from him would actually do anything. Now if I have a demon that I need exercised then uh, then yeah, say bless you. But again, since I'm not a Catholic, I don't think it's really that likely. Boss music still going. That's weird. We'll stay up all night smoking hallucinogenic drugs and shooting superhero to exercise it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If you're not a religious person, then you say he's untight. Well, I'm not German either, so that also makes no sense. I mean, I, I guess you could say good health, since that's what gesundheit means. But I don't really expect it or care if you don't say it <laughs> well then you just stare at the person oh you can't do that over the internet I feel uncomfortable when people say bless you to me I don't feel uncomfortable it's just then I seem rude if I don't say thank you so it's like the only thing you do by saying bless you is require you, you're causing me to have to do something extra. In addition to sneezing, I also have to say thank you. So really it's more of a burden than anything. I mean, not that saying thank you is like a burden, but that's really all you're accomplishing. No way to get to the chest. Oh wait, did I check the walls in that room? Let me double check. Okay. It's good. So yeah, for future reference, I don't care if you do or do not say thank you. Either or do or do not say bless you. Either way, it's not that big of a deal to me. Sweet. over when you have this item. And when there are explosive barrels all over the place. I could have gambled there, but eh. Huh, that's weird. I'm not even pushing the direction and it's bouncing off. wonder why it does it sometimes, but not other times. See like there. Did not bounce. It seems to bounce on the right hand side but not the left. That's so weird. No bounce. Huh, I don't know. 
No bounce on the bottom either. Just set a normal bomb if you're having problems. Oh yeah, I guess I do have 11 bombs, don't I? Man, I wish I had this thing when I had to go to Sheol. That'd be freaking awesome. No bounce off the top either. Huh. It's just the right hand side. That is so weird. Bounce. No bounce. Alright, I could just go straight for the boss, but... Since I have all this firepower, I might as well look for the top secret room. And the item shop, actually. Yeah, it would appear that dying and then reforming is the thing that causes them to not stop the bombs. Because now that these guys are back, Looks like that's what's happening. Curse skull, no thanks. I don't like the curse skull. It teleports you out of the room if you get knocked down to one heart. Which I guess can be useful in some situations. But in my experience, it was mostly just annoying. Because like, if I have one enemy left, and I get knocked down to one heart, and I teleport, then I'm going to have to go back into that room and fight every enemy again. Curse Gold is more damage than good. Yeah, exactly. Book of Revelation. I will leave that there just in case I get some more, uh, more coins. Actually, let's let's test that wall just to see. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, let's test up. Okay. Better find them seven cents. Yeah, exactly. What kind of machine is that over there? Is that just a normal slot machine? Because I can blow it up. That might have some money inside. And I can go into that pain room as well. Might be helpful. Oh no, it's one of these guys. Red patch. Yeah, why not? It gives you a chance of, uh, of increasing your damage if you get hit. the guy with the bomb. That was pretty cool. Excellent. Hopefully there's money in there. Nope. Worst top secret room ever. Oh, there's a challenge room. I get some pennies from that. Justice. Get a coin from that. Oh, I don't have enough hearts. That sucks. Now I do. Exactly what I need to gain. Wow. Anti-Murphy's Law is in effect. Because I have the, uh, the fetus.
Alright, let's go buy the book and kick some boss butt. Ooh, how scandalous. I said the B word. This stream is rated MA for adult situations. Went ahead and use it. Feeling pretty good about this run. Of course, I do have the fetus, so even if I got no other items, I'd probably still be doing pretty well. I still have my sun card too. In case things actually get hairy. I need to remember not to get overconfident though. Wow, this is a lot of money. Holy shit. Save it as a full health. Yeah, I probably should. I love having bombs when I fight those dudes. Wow. Quite a few fistulae. Fistulae. Damn belts. find the item shop because I am enrichulated that's a word I decree it so I am in wealthulized even more so I would say I wish I had a money equals power, but with the bombs and everything, probably would not make that much of a difference. Uh huh. I don't usually go for this stuff. But I do have a room full of hearts right here, so I might as well try. Wait, is that brimstone or is that spirit of the night? I think it's brimstone. How would that affect my bombs? I have no idea what that would actually do. I don't want to give up my bombs. Does anyone in the chat know what happens if you pick up brimstone when you have the fetus? Because I don't. It might take away your bombs or do nothing. Well, 
Those are pretty much the only options. I mean, brimstone's nice, but I like I like the bombs better. I think I, think I want to leave it. I don't want to risk giving these up. Well, all that does is give you have a chance of giving you bombs when you pick up pennies, which doesn't do me any good. I want to find the item shop, and I might come back. There's nothing good in the shop. Still haven't really had any uh, any devil rooms or or anything in this playthrough either. It's weird. I usually get them all the time. Of course. Just can't let me have fun forever, can you, game? Well, take that. Wow. More money. Exactly what I needed. Roid Raid. Good item. Oops. Uh, push pin. Well, won't affect me since I don't even have tears at the moment. No point in getting that. Alright, well, I guess I'll go uh, do the slot machine a little bit and I'm done. I don't know what trinkets would actually help me right now. Curved horn increases damage, but I don't know how how it affects the bombs. That's the thing. It doesn't actually show in your stats. I mean, it's possible that none of that stuff affects bombs at all. What does that do? The push pin. Uh, it it has a chance of making your tears spectral. The stats take a while to adjust says poke slot so it might not be immediately apparent eh, I'm done with that I don't want to spend all day it's not I mean it's not like I really need anything from that and the stats still appear to be the same but even if they went up I don't think it would do anything Oops. Oh, cool. It's this guy. Why did it say it was four? Was this guy's name Conquest? Must be a bug of some kind. Hey, what's up, sore thumb? Not sure why the chat had nothing. Explosive tears. Well, it's not luck. I'm doing the uh, the Doctor's Revenge challenge, which starts you with uh, with the Doctor Fetus item. I've already done this challenge, but I thought I would do it on stream, just for funsies. Ooh, not as good as the book, but. bad don't lie you've been getting lucky too yeah this has been a pretty lucky run I guess I mean I wouldn't say I've been quote-unquote getting lucky 
and that has certain connotations that are uh, not the case. But yeah, it's been a lucky day. Huh? Damn, more money. Uh, Kermodia, what's up? Lots of familiar names. Glad you all can make it. For any of you who have joined me recently, the first game in the stream was Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, which was just as super and amazing as it sounds. And that'll be going up on YouTube when the stream's over. <laughs> Chub versus Bomb Tears. Pretty unevenly match fight. But yeah, I played Super Amazing Wagon Adventure for about an hour. And then I failed the... Wow, another sun. Good lord. And then I failed the Isaac Was Good Today challenge a few times. And then I decided to throw caution to the wind and blow some shit up. Hmm, should I buy a bomb? I don't know. I better do it. I might need it later. All of a sudden, I'm not alone anymore, says Pokesmot. Well, I'm showing a lot of other names. People still in the chat room. I don't know if they've uh, tuned out or what. But I appreciate you all coming. All the same. Let's see, do I want to look around for the top secret room? I don't think I really need to. Uh, Witster and Radigan Conniger, welcome. Glad you guys can make it. Or, glad you people could make it. Since I don't know your genders. The fork, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna look for the top secret room. I think I'll be okay if I don't get it. I still remember Douche Me Boy. Oh yes. That was a uh, that was a dark day in Binding of Isaac history. I wonder if the bombs exploded when she stomped them. Doesn't that happen with Satan's foot? That's why having bombs is so important in that fight. Or maybe just because his foot comes down so many times, it just has that many more chances of uh, of hitting a bomb. Probably that. I don't think stomping the bomb actually blows it up in the same fight. done. Do you do challenge runs of Isaac by chance? Well, you're in luck, Witster. That's exactly what I'm doing. Of course, I've already done this challenge run, but I thought it'd be fun to do it on stream. I'm done. I'm out of here. And I have the compass, so I know roughly the direction of the boss. Pretty lucky with the secret room. Ah, should I leave? I could just leave, but I wouldn't want to waste such a perfect opportunity to fuck up greed, since it's usually the other way around.
Nice. It's been a low pill game. Too easy? Well, the Doctor's Revenge Challenge, Revenge Challenge is kind of a uh, kind of a break from all the other challenges. It's uh, easy mode, but I failed a few times, so I thought it would be nice to uh, potentially have the chance to not fail. So it would be nice if you use complete words. You don't have to, just a suggestion. <laughs> okay, says Rygog. So yeah, I can't tell if this curved horn is actually doing anything or not. Probably not. But it'll give me confidence. It'll be like a placebo. It'll be like the magic ice ice skates that let me skate perfectly. Back in that story. But the power wasn't me all along. That was Ice Cage, right? In the original story. Actually, I don't know what the original was. I think the Ice Cage was like the Winnie the Pooh version of the story. I don't even know what the original was. Well, this sucks. Hmm, I wonder if there's a better strategy to, to this. Uh, this might work a little better, I guess. There we go. Oh, cool. Actually have a Meat Boy now. Shoot up or down instead. Oh, you were referencing the green fight. Okay. I'm sorry. There's a little bit of chat lag, so I don't always know exactly what your comments are in response to. Alright, I'm out of here. Ever hear of steam-powered giraffes? I haven't. Um, it sounds like a, uh, like a Jeff Minter game. Is it any good? It might have been a mimic pill. You can never be too careful. Ooh. Oh, they're a band? No, I've never heard of them. Eh, might as well. Ten bombs, huh? That should come in handy. Let me tell ya. The uh, Super Meat Boy challenge is also fun as well. You get a, uh, a fully leveled up Super Meat Boy from the start. That's a lot of fun. Probably the two most fun challenges so far. I don't know why I even picked up those 10 bombs because I knew this room was going to be a pain in the ass. Oh well. Damn it. I need to be more careful. I also need to start bombing these walls. 
I've been forgetting to do that. And I need to make sure not to let Meat Boy be a dick. Yeah, look at that. The uh, fuse on the bomb I lay is a lot longer than the other bomb. Oh. And it looks like my uh, fetus bomb is actually bigger too. I don't know if it's just like that or if it's because of the trinkets I have or... Or what? Hmm. Aw, oh, man. I don't want to sit here pumping coins into a machine all day. Sorry if my spelling seems derpy, my keyboard is being a jerk. Oh, that's fine. We all have keyboard issues from time to time. Meh. Actually, that'd probably be more useful than, than the curved horn. But meh. Oops. I'm kind of starting to run out of steam a little bit, but it's okay. It's almost over. I'm coming for you. It lives. Actually, let's go on ahead and uh, do one more room just to charge my book all the way. Probably not necessary, but I like to uh, I like to be cautious. Of course, if I take damage in this room, it'll kind of defeat the purpose. And now I've I'm at negative hearts getting the book than I would have done otherwise. Oh well. I didn't know it would be a fistula. Mom's pearl. Meh. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm probably just going to use the sun as soon as I step into the room anyway. So damage is not really a huge issue. Well, it didn't do a ton of damage to her, but at least it took out those eyes. Oh man, this is the perfect weapon for it, Liz. It could not be any better. Hi Larry, bye Larry. Hi Knights, bye Knights. Hi Duke. There's only room for one Duke in this town. Aw, oh, me boy, what are you doing? Alright. Quickest mom fight ever. I wonder what happens if you actually go to Sheol in the challenge thing. I mean, you only have to be mom hard to complete the challenge. I can get, I can just be the get the chest and be done. But since I've already completed this, might as well. Huh? Oops. I was just going to end it there, but, um, might as well. I don't think I've seen this pattern of spice with a chest before. It's weird. Yeah, 
damn it. See, normally, this room would be a huge pain in the ass. And this is the exact room that gave me trouble in the last room as well. Horseman of, of the Apocalypse. Alright, Satan. I'm coming for you. Wow. Totally crossed the screens. I'm not allowed to do that. Yeah, this is the first time I've fought Satan in a very long time. <laughs> Having a meat boy is pretty helpful in this fight. Yeah, they don't actually blow up the bombs when they spawn them, they just... They have a higher chance of hitting them. If I can start. Okay. Best Satan fight ever. Funny joke out of ten. Thank you, Witster. I knew somebody would appreciate it. Alright, and that's been the Doctor's Revenge Challenge in the Binding of Isaac. Plus a Satan fight that was not strictly necessary. 10 out of funny joke. Is that as good of a rating as funny joke out of 10? I'll have to consult the manual. Alright, well that's been the Binding of Isaac. Um, follow me on Twitch, please. For the love of God. Do it. And follow me on YouTube. My YouTube username is Masharin. Follow me on Twitter at DukeLPs and at Duke of the Bomb. And uh, I will see you guys later.